now we're adding the flavor a little bit. We, we're becoming more senior. We're playing with things and, and things usually stop working when we start playing, which is fine. So I always say, yep, I'm maybe going to deal with it and sort it out. There's no panic. Uh, I prepared the demo for us here so we can jump in directly there. All good. So if I try the the tip is try changing the bonus co column or field. If I do anything and I say yep, change. If you notice in the corner, there's a JavaScript error here, and in the developer tools, you get that explanation mark advising you something's wrong. So what, how we deal with it? What, what, what's the first thing we do? So it's like a small cookbook, but usually it helps. First thing you're, I mean, say when you have a problem with anything, you do debug here. We're going to do it again just so it triggers again. Perfect, there it is. And then we're going to do F2 on our developer or on our browser console to get the development tools up. And we're going to do console here. And as you, as you can see, we immediately have information about what triggers. So there was a dynamic action fired, and there's a name for dynamic action. Hopefully, if we use a normal name or something nice that we can read and, and find it easily, that, that's going to be helpful. And the other thing is, here you can find all the details about your dynamic action metadata and stuff. And two important things here to mention is you have a network tab here, which sometimes when you want to refresh a report or something, there's data that comes back from a server. And if it's not working or if something is wrong with your code, usually it's, it's either not displayed here or not listed or you get an empty result, so then you know it's it's an issue with, with, uh, with your code. Right? Uh, so if I Jump back to my presentation. Oh, good. So pretty much, first thing is you usually see either an exclamation mark in our developer console, or, or you get some error message popping up. Uh, the the one thing that I still owe you here, one sec before I go further, is, oh, sorry, going back, is I need to edit the page. I want to show you why the error was there in the first place. So we're going to do a debug here. So there was going uh, back here. Okay, so I have dynamic action fired was bonus change company decom. So I can close that down. Oh, good. So I find that dynamic action. That's my name. Okay, and I want to figure out what was wrong. I go into the details. In this case, I made it on purpose. So this function is not a standard JavaScript function, so my page is missing the reference to a library of it, and has the error came up. Uh, it doesn't have to be this simple, but pretty much this gives you tools how you do debugging. And uh, if just following these four steps, enable debugging of developer console, open a browser console and check the logs, uh, you can see they and drill down into uh, metadata and even network app if there's need for it. <coughs> uh, and, and pretty much network app is very interesting if you have a heaps of uh, dynamic action trigger on a page load, which is probably not that recommended. So you can figure out which ones are triggering and you can sort of stop them and, and then uh, take appropriate steps to sort of prevent that happening all the time. Probably some of them are needed, but not all of them, right? So you can do some of it with PLC, which is way faster. All good. 